you can see that Terry's wearing a, a jacket, but he looks pretty comfortable and he's actually smiling. So I, I'm not smiling, I'm cold. So I think it was a pretty uh, a warmer day for Terry at that time. But 35 years ago, uh, Terry started the Marathon of Hope on April 12th. And we, I think we all know that he started in St. John's Harbor. What we don't know is where Terry retrieved the bottle of Atlantic Ocean water that he kept in the van. And the plan was to take it across with him uh, to BC. And when he finished the Marathon of Hope, he was going to dump that water in the Pacific Ocean. Well, it's only recently that we've been able to confirm that this in Outer Cove, this beach here is where Terry retrieved that water. So it's very exciting and a big day for us. I'm going to put this on you. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk down. Okay, that's the actual container. We're really excited that uh, Bill Strong is here with us, Reverend Bill Strong, because he was the only member or the only person that was with Terry in 1980 when he retrieved the water. I was a field supervisor with the Newfoundland Division of the Canadian Cancer Society. And this is where we came to uh, fill a, a bottles of uh, salt water that their plan was to bring them to the Pacific. And do you remember that day, what, what the weather was like and what you were thinking that day? Uh, it was just kind of a bit of an adventure, you know, like uh, it was a very pure time, uh, as I recall. You, you, can't, you can't make this stuff up, as it were, you know, like we all strive to be a little larger than we are, a little bit starting to be more than who we are, and uh, uh, Terry was able to certainly realize that, and it was a, a great lesson in uh, determination and purpose. Well, I think he helped the people with cancer by running halfway across the world to get support cancer. Woo! Thank you. All right, let's go to the next one. Was it fun to be part of the Terry Fox run? Yes. Yeah? How'd it feel? Um, exciting. Yeah? <laughs> There were 35 participants. They were all in t-shirts that represented 35 years that the Terry Fox Run has happened. So each shirt was a different design on it. And uh, the idea being that we're 35 years out, we continue to pass that water, we continue to um, celebrate that legacy and also uh, eventually want to get that water to the Pacific, want to get those treatments to the bedside so that we can uh, cure cancer. When you hear people talk about a Canadian hero, well, he embodies that and as I said, as a person of national historic significance, he's always going to be treated as such and, and commemorated as such through Parks Canada. This week, uh, the provincial government announced that the second Sunday after Labor Day weekend will be proclaimed as Terry Fox Day. Once we got to school, I thought it was a really cool part of it. They combined the water with everything across the country. I mean, that, was, that, that just set it right off. That water was poured into that water that came from the Atlantic Ocean to give the Fox family something that really connects all Canada together, as Terry wanted to do in his, in his original journey. It was a beautiful event. You know, anytime Parks Canada is involved, it's going to be a great event. Um, and uh, they're in the business of making memories. And essentially, most of today's generation weren't alive when Terry ran. So this is their opportunity to be part of that marathon of hope and then to share this uh, experience with, uh, with the next generation.
What I hope for in the future is that people continue fulfilling Terry's dream and that someday, with the donations to the Terry Fox Foundation, they'll find a cure for cancer. Thank you. The first words he wrote in his journal were, this is where it all begins. And today was that day. We appreciate the fact that so many people came out and wanted to be a part of this. I think there's, there's more stories to be told in relation to Terry Fox, and Parks Canada will certainly be a part of helping tell that story in the future.